Whenever I get my you-know-what-not-wet spinner. Look, Bron, I wouldn't get my hopes up too high. I mean, you can't expect miracles on your first try. Yeah, Pete's been trying for years and I thrash him every single time. Yeah, <laughs> you loser! You're the big loser, Gribs. Me and Pete are going to wipe the shore with you on Saturday. You'll be a laughing sock. <laughs> sock, sock. <laughs> be worth for a little twist. You haven't got a hope. Oh, yeah? Come on, then. Me and you and Pete, right now. Unless you're chicken. Huh? Hey, Bronson, go right. green. Now I'm angry. Let's go. Let's go. go hey, I wasn't ready. There you go, Mum. I won, didn't I? Only just. And only just winning is almost the same as nearly losing. Fantastic. Ron, we're racing too. What a be fantastic. We could be looking at the new Wharf to Surf champion. Well, you know, like I always say, swimming is 99% concentration. I just focused on my inner goal and made it come true. Almost. Don't worry. You do it for sure on Saturday. Right, Bron? This is the second worst day of my life. Ah! Ow! Think you can make me look like an idiot, do you, pest? Yeah. <laughs> make that the first worst. So, uh, what are we going to do with him, Gribbs? Oh, he's a bit small. Let's chuck him back. Yeah! Ah! Ah! My whirling dervish. Jara Sparrow, are you okay? Whirling dervish? Oh, Jara. Where's Sparrow? Oh, Sparrow. Suffering swordfish. This is awful. They're the last pair in captivity, and now the male's missing. Sparrow, where are you? Sparrow, hold on. Don't, don't panic. Stay calm, Sparrow. I'll find... Well, don't just stand there. Help me look for him. Sparrow. Sparrow. Nice to have this time alone together, isn't it, Tony? Huh. I mean, it can be difficult. What with your art and, and my my firefighting and, and the kids. Well, finding a special time like this can be hard. It's good to make the most of it when you can. Dad! Dad! Something weird's happened to my... to my... What, what is it, Ron? It's a private matter. I, I mean, it's private. Oh, um... I'll leave you to it then. Dad, I've started getting these funny feelings all of a sudden. Down there. Ah. Oh. Well, I knew we'd have to have this talk sooner or later. 
I didn't expect it to be so soon. You see, there comes a time in every boy's life when uh, <clears throat> his body starts going through special changes. No, it, it stopped. Must have only been temporary. See ya. Ages. Ah, oh, look, your brother's going through a delicate time. He, he needs your support and sensitivity, okay? Can you keep a secret? Uh, uh, men's business. Discrimination. I'm reporting you to. Well, I'm not happy at all. That weird Gronian fish swimming around inside me. Whenever I get my you know what not wet, spin out. Watson, you, you, you've got a whirly willy. Exactly. Instant propeller, just add water. So, uh, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. What? A built-in propeller. It's just what I need to win the big race and make Gribbs pay. Morning. Want some sardines? So are you going to tell me your big secret? Morning, Brian. How's your early really? You've got a whirling what? She forced it out of me. Thanks a lot, Big Mouth. I'm going for a spin. Yes, it's events like Saturday's Junior Wharf to Surf race that have helped make Port Naranda the swimming capital of the shipwreck coast. <laughs> and the defending champion here, my son James, is the fastest swimmer that anyone's ever seen. Oh, Lord. There's an explanation. Just a moment. Wait a minute. He's got a whirly what? Exactly. Something to do with swallowing a fish from the aquarium. I'm looking for Bronson Twist. You better come in. He's got a whirly what? Exactly. Ever since he swallowed one of your fish. Whirling dirtfish. Oh no, poor Spyro. This is terrible. What's a whirling dirtfish? Whirly gigas centrifugus. Small and extremely rare species that spends its whole life spinning through the water like corkscrews. The males were clockwise and the female anti-clockwise. The oceans used to be teeming with them. Now they're rare as squid's teeth. Hunted to the very brink of extinction by early washing machine manufacturers. These days there can't be more than, oh, I'd say two. Two. Gyro here. And Spyro. In Bronson's belly. And Gyro's gone into a spiralling depression without her mate. She's fading fast, so we've got to... Get Bronson to cough up quick, or else the whole species is doomed. Exactly. exactly. I'm on my way. Extra, extra, Port and Random Porpoise breaks the beat swimming record. Read all about it. OK, OK, one at a time. It's funny for everyone. It's a Port Naranda Porpoise! Amazing swim by the boy the locals are already calling for Port Naranda Porpoise. Like I always say, swimming's 99% constipation. I knew I had it in me. I just focused on bringing it out. Bron! We need to talk. The fate of a whole species is in your stomach. Not now, Linda. I'm with my public. Ah, oh, this is nice. Still, that statue isn't going to carve itself. I better get back to it. A tiny. It's quiet. The kids are in bed. 
Isn't there something you'd rather do than sculpt? Oh, of course. We should talk about Bronson. Yeah, poor kid's got himself in a bit of a spin lately. We'll talk about Bron tomorrow. Um, I found this book of love poems in Linda's room. Why don't I read you one? To set the mood. Viking book of love? Our hearts unite in time of love. Our shining lustrous stars above. Hmm. Kiss me, Faye. Kiss me. What a good idea. Now. I'm sorry, the Port Naranda Porpoise can't come to the phone at the moment. No, you'll have to call back later. I've got the fish and chipper you want to speak to Bronson about sponsorship and the, the surf shop's on call waiting. More calls for Bron. Faye. Do my little pookie sleep well? And don't you worry about Bron. He's far too down to earth to let this pipe go to his head. Morning, all. Hold my calls, will you, Tone? Got to go talk turkey to the fried chicken shop. Bron, you've got to listen to me about this fish. Love to, but things to do, people to see. Yeah. Bronson, that fish is going to die unless you do something about it. Linda, this could be the only chance I ever get to be noticed. I don't care what you say, I'm not giving it up. Bronson, please. They're the last two dirt fish in the world. Yeah, gotta go. Jason, listen to me. I'm not joking. Please, Bronson. Concerned about how Bron's taking all this. And that's what I love about you. You're so kind and caring, cuddly, muddly. What were we talking about just now? Bronson, your son. You know, this high, red hair. Oh! No, no. If something was bothering him, he'd tell us. He doesn't bottle things up. Perhaps we will have a little chat. Hmm. Bron, Faye and I have been talking and, and she... She's a wonderful woman, isn't she? Kind, understanding, and, and when the sun light hits her hair... Port Miranda Porpoise, speak to me. When did you get a mobile phone? Sorry, Dad. Ice cream sponsorship. Yeah, uh-huh. Throw in a crate of chop frosties and you got a deal. Primo, check ya. You were saying? Well, I, I was going to talk to you about changes that might be occurring in your body. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. Training. Can't take any chances with the big race tomorrow. Bron, it's an emergency. You have to cough up that dirt fish quicker or else the whole species is doomed. No, the race starts in an hour. Come on, Spyro, come on out. Dyer and I have been worried. Stop it, I need him to win. This could be the only chance I ever get to. Uh, uh, a boy, Spyro. Uh, up and out.
can't believe it. I'm gonna be beaten by a twist. And the little one at that. Oh, don't worry, Grooves. Rabbit's got an idea that'll put him out of the race for sure. Oh, great. Nah, it's a good one, Grooves. Here's what we do. The chick's up, Grooves. I heard every word. Oh, what a bummer. For you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Pete. Too wrapped up in red tape to get to the race. <laughs> yeah. So, Pete. Please move to the starting line. When all competitors have moved into position, it will be my pleasure to officially start this year's race. I've got a warm run. I'm sure you'll agree we couldn't have asked for better conditions for this, the seventh annual junior walk to surf race. Now, competitors, I know that you're all bursting to go. And so, without further ado, I'm delighted to remind you all that Gribble Real Estate is the proud sponsor of today's event. That's right, if you're buying a house... Sorry, young lady, the competitor's only. But I need to see my brother. No, I'm sorry. Bronson! Bron! It's the female, she's dying without her mate. After the race, Linda! Now, ladies and gentlemen, I can feel the anticipation building here today as the moment of truth draws near. And I know you will all be glued to your seats. My outstanding young junior walk to service, get ready for what you think. Instant dry super glue. You are a genius, Red. Yeah. It's a magnificent golden apple. Take your mind.
realized that you were so great. What a fan. Gee, we're all yeah. really... That was yeah. 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 Honestly, James, that was a whole two seconds slower than your personal best. Yeah, but mm. I won. We're going to have to start training immediately for next year's race. You've got two twists to worry about now. <laughs> Get a good idea. Just keep it to yourself, all right? Um, don't know when high tide is, do you? What? Help! 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 Ah!